Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Let's take another look at the charts. And the S&P is doing wonderful, wonderful weekly close. Um, very bad weekly close for the dollar. Let's take a look at the S&P over here. And um, it's almost time to take profit over here. I would take profit at that line, but honestly, I don't know how much higher it will go. We're breaking all time highs and um, yeah, the dollar keeps doing bad. BTC broke out of this trend line, this um, downward channel, and um, did a retest this afternoon over here. And um, yeah, I think, but PS, I posted this long setup as well on Twitter. Um, this one over here. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow me as well on Twitter. And we broke it. And I had the long setup over here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I expect uh, 12k soon before we see new lows below the 11k. Um, and yeah, why? Because funding is um, quite low. Um, I mainly look at Bitmax, and that is low. So that means we have some fuel to the upside still. Weekly, um, yeah not so nice but i want them to see it buy up a little bit higher we still have another day and i think it will um yeah close wonderfully um i think the bottom is in we had a nice correction already uh it was almost a 1500 dollar correction and i think that is a good correction already and um, since the high so i think it's time to move up again um worst case scenario we get a brutal wick to the downside something like this to stop everybody out and then continue to the upside. Um, those are things I am, yeah, Ethereum. We have the important level of 360 over here, and another important level at around 500. And I think 500 is next up for Ethereum as well. Um, we broke this nice trend line over here. Not sure you guys can see it, but this one we broke it, and um, yeah, it's time for new highs for ethereum as well um you can i think pretty safely long it to 440 now i'm zooming in a little bit more i mean um it is just a confirmation of what i just draw it over here broke out to the upside and time for 440 and after that 500 dollars i think beautiful breakout as well on ethereum bdc over here broke that one um so yeah, new highs coming. Uh, what is at this point a little bit, might be a little bit of a problem for Ethereum BTC, an inverse, oh, sorry, not inverse, uh, a head and shoulders pattern over here, over here, and over here. Um, that might be the bearish case for Ethereum BTC, but I'm still bullish. Uh, Link broke out really nicely. It is a green day again. Um, yeah, we had something like this. Um, very nice breakout going for highs again. Um, let's draw some resistances around $18 is a resistance. And right now they are at a resistance over here. Um, you can just see it with your bare eyes or I can put on the PPVR. I'm not showing really clearly, but I suspect the link going to the highs again. Yes. I'm very bullish. Neo doing very, very good. Um, breaking resistance now next up for neo is around 28 dollars and um yeah you can long it now you want to see a daily or a four hour close uh for neo at this point but um i'm quite sure they will go to 28 dollars now nothing else much to say um they will go to 28 dollars i think Maybe a little bit higher, but that is the next resistance for um, NEO. They made higher highs over here and over here now. They just broke this one. So NEO is doing very good. 29 coming. Taking a look at Bond. Bond is doing very good as well. Um, broke this one. Um, yeah, going for the highs again. Uh, Bond Bitcoin is this, by the way. Let's take a look. Do I have Bond? USDT as well, and kind of the same. Um, these were the lines I had. They held it. 
quite nicely and um, yeah going for the highs again as well uh, I would say uh, around yeah I just take profit if they're making a, a two dollar move from now on um, looking very good VBVR not showing something nicely on this time frame um, but bond looking good um, easily can do um, uh, a 10 or 20 percent move from here um, weekly like I said um, still good still good uh, placing a horizontal over here a lot of people expect a retest of 10k or something um, doesn't have to happen if too many people expect it to happen it won't happen uh, that's how simple that is uh, that means they're shorting or expecting to buy lower um, they're not gonna get their entry um, so I'm, I'm very bullish and I think we had a correction already from 12.5k down to almost 11k so that correction is in already um, like I said fundings are low I take yeah um, bitmax has the highest open interest so I take a good look at bitmax um, bitmax is um, from now on with KYC so a lot of people are moving from bitmax and that's why um, I would advise you to use one of these referral links you help me you get some extra discounts win-win situation uh, if you don't want a KYC I advise you to use Bybit um, really good trading engine never lag um, practically the same as Bitmax a little less volume but most traders don't need the volume either um, so yeah I advise you to use Bybit on my referral um, you help me and you help yourself by getting discounts. So that's about it. I'm bullish um, below uh, Around 11k um, We're bearish. We're bearish and probably going to uh, 10 and a half K or even below that for a quick week that wouldn't surprise me either But right now I first suspect we go to 12k So happy longing guys, and uh, I see you again tomorrow